We begin tonight with news from our state capital. As the state of California faces a multi-billion dollar deficit, today some good news on the budget front. Tax revenues came in higher last month than previously projected. Capital correspondent Aton Wallace shares what this could mean for the state going forward and joins us with reaction from the Newsom administration. Well, that reaction from the Newsom administration can be summed up in two words, cautious optimism. Some rare good news. Some rare good news. That's how California Department of Finance Deputy Director H.G. Palmer describes the state's latest tax receipts, showing last month California brought in about $1.1 billion more than it originally projected for June. Well, that's a welcome change. Uh, from what the trend has been over the last basically year plus. A year in which the state took in less revenue than projected, leading to a roughly $31.7 billion deficit. That's why Palmer, who spoke to us on behalf of the Newsom administration, says even with the June revenue numbers, it's important to look at the wider economic picture. His feeling right now? cautious optimism. He says that's especially true because as a result of this year's record storms, the tax deadline for millions of Californians was pushed back from April to October, meaning the state will not know its true tax revenue until then. The Department of Finance expects about $42 billion to come in at that time, but given the uncertainty of the markets, Palmer says there's always a possibility less money comes in. One out of every four personal income tax dollars, which is the state's largest source of revenue, uh, is now going to be received in October as opposed to May or June. So we like to think that we've got a good estimate on that, but there are so many variables and factors that could change that. It still represents a risk that's out there. Still, he believes come October, even if the state takes in less revenue than projected, the administration's priority to one-time spending and a record 37 plus billion dollars in reserves could spare major cuts. We are much better prepared now than we were for have been for a number of years. But Republicans have long argued this year's $311 billion budget is too large. They want to see more fiscal prudence. The fact the fact that the governor's own budget continues to overspend, creating structural deficits into the future, is proof that this budget is not fiscally responsible. And as the state faces those uncertain outcomes looking ahead, for now at least, the governor has said he will not raise taxes, nor does he plan to dip into the reserves. Reporting from the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.